Hi everybody, welcome back to another hour of English classes here on Verbling.com. I've been doing quite a few writing classes this week because people have been wanting to practice their writing. So if you have a reservation for this class, uh, you can use that now. This hour is going to be a writing practice class. It's available for anybody, um, whatever your level is. If you are a beginner and you want to just practice writing some simple sentences, you can do that. If you're intermediate or advanced, you can join to practice uh, writing perhaps a TOEFL essay question or any of the other questions that I have. Whoops, I forgot to close my verbling window. There we go. So, hi there, Zaki. Welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. Zaki, here's the uh, link for you in the group chat. Oh, hi, good. And you can go there and look, and we will see if some other people show up for this hour. Um, like I said, uh, you can come in at any level, um, beginner, intermediate, or advanced level. Everybody gets to do uh, writing at their own level, so it's really um, kind of a nice way to just take some time for yourself and practice writing. And then what happens is after you finish your writing, then I have you read it out loud so then you can hear it and maybe sometimes when you're reading it you hear something that's not quite right and you can either correct it or I correct it and then I will make uh, corrections and you can ask me questions and um, anything that you're working on we can discuss that. So hi Victor, Victor I put the link to the Google document in the group chat so you can go over there and um, I think you guys yes <laughs> Good, hi. <laughs> I'm doing well, thank you. Victor, you're um, in in Russia, is that right? Or Ukraine? Yes. Okay, yeah. Russia. Uh, okay. I'm from Ukraine, but and uh, my native uh, language is Russian. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, welcome. And um, I'm going to put it up in the screen share, so if some people drop by and see what we're doing they can decide if they want to join us um, I'll go over the questions also now I've been leaving number one the same so it's always about uh, writing about a movie that you've watched recently so that's always fun to do and it's a good practice of retelling a story um, number two is are there any foods that you absolutely can't stand so that means you hate them <laughs> and you won't eat them and what are they and have you always not liked them so some people have that you know, like with certain things like fish maybe or certain vegetables or something like that it's kind of fun to know that kind of stuff about people um, number three is if you could go on a cruise to anywhere where would you go and why why would you like to go there yesterday some people described their philosophy on money now today you have a chance to describe your philosophy on work what kind of what do you think about work how much should you work you know that kind of stuff uh, number five is describe what is happening in this picture or write a story that goes along with it <laughs> so this is a funny guy in a funny costume skiing down the hill so somebody could create a story around that um, here's another uh, photo So you see a woman there doing something in some kind of building with a painting in the background. So you can either make a story up about that or you can just describe what you see and what is happening in that picture. Number seven is the free write where you can write anything you want. And the TOEFL essay is, um, it is better for children to grow up in the countryside than in a big city. Do you agree? So that's a statement. So a statement is just like somebody says it, like it's a fact. But it's really an opinion, somebody's opinion. And then you have to say whether or not you agree or you disagree. And you need to use specific reasons and examples um, to develop your essay. So for this one, for the people who want to work on this, it's important to pick, pick a side. <laughs> so you either agree and you want to give reasons why you think it is better for children to grow up in the countryside so maybe there's cleaner air there's more freedom to move around 
maybe there's um, it's um, you get to know your friends uh, and other people in your town maybe you can have animals um, you know there's lots of reasons maybe you could come up with or you can say I disagree and then you would have to give the reasons why you disagree you could say you know in the countryside uh, we've done this one before so some people have said like in the countryside there aren't that many opportunities so it's better to be in a big city because you have more opportunities for learning things you have more opportunities for healthcare services um, it's it's fun to go out and go to you know places take classes go to uh, shows entertainment stuff like that so you just have to agree or disagree but it's important to give your reasons and examples so if you're gonna work on that make sure you uh, have that organization and let's see Hamid you joined us okay not too tired Hamid uh, maybe I can write a little bit okay <laughs> it'll be quiet for a little while <laughs> so uh, I can write uh, with everybody's uh, silence Yes. <laughs> yeah, so um, if anybody else who is watching out there in Verbling land wants to join us at any time, just click on the Join Class button, and I'm putting the link in the group chat. Um, so everybody should have it now. And you can go ahead and write. And when you are finished, make sure you turn on your microphone and you tell me, because I'm going to turn off my microphone so that it's really quiet and um, I'll be waiting for you guys to get finished so I can start correcting things. Any questions? Okay. All right.
Lisa? Yes. I'm done. Okay. Let's see. What is the problem everybody left? I don't know. It looks like uh, Amparo was just in the middle of writing something. I'm, I was wondering they lost the connection or something. Okay. I don't know. Okay, go ahead. My uh, philosophy is uh, to like and uh, spend good efforts on my work. When I spend effective time, I can learn uh, with many ways, uh, such as asking to ex experienced uh, guys, searching from notes or internet. My other philosophy that I should find the wanted and necessary information as soon as possible, because it can be crucial, and I should find a solution or solutions with my old skills. Meanwhile, I'm trying to find solutions. I also spend my time to ask my networks from my professors to my classmates. I believe that everybody is a good source to reach through information. I look like it is my idea others are alternative ideas, then I combine with them, I reach my synthesis idea. I mean, my thesis plus antithesis equals a synthesis idea. For these reasons, I am very open all things, even if people criticize my weakest points with a suitable language. Okay. All right, so I would say my philosophy on work is to like and to spend, um, uh, let's see, good efforts to make a good effort, and then we would say in my work, or in, yeah, in performing, maybe in performing but my I work. I think you should also say my philosophy on work, so, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, is to like and to make a good effort in performing my work. When I spend effective time, I can learn, um, I would say in, okay, let's see, when I, I would say, we, don't, we wouldn't say effective time, you would say more like when I spend um, my time effectively, okay. yeah, I can learn in many ways, comma, such as asking, um, ex you can say experienced guys, um, or re um, do you mean your notes, like notes that you have taken already? Searching information. I, f I forgot to write searching information. Okay, searching f for information, you could say, for information on the internet. Or, or from the notes. I mean, uh, there are some experienced guys, and uh, they took some notes. Okay. They, uh, so you could wrote. read. Um, yes. Okay. By reading uh, for, uh, from that notes. Okay. Would, would you say like reading articles or books or something like that? I mean, uh, you know, the, the, uh, when people starts, uh, the, start uh, their jobs, they yeah. can uh, take notes. For example, okay. uh, this mission is related to this, and I should... Uh, I okay. Should, uh, put firstly this, secondly this, like that. Okay. Yeah. So I would write reviewing other people's notes. So yeah, like other uh, colleagues' notes or something, or searching for information on the internet. My other philosophy that I should find the wanted. Um, you could say another part. Another part of my philosophy is that I should find the wanted and necessary information as soon as possible because it can be crucial and I should find a, a solution or solutions with and you would say all my skills um, and then instead of meanwhile I would say while while I am trying to find uh, solutions I also spend my time uh, asking my uh, network and I would say my network of, and you could just say, professors and classmates. So that means that they're included in your network. I believe that everybody is a good uh, resource to, I would say, dis instead of to reach, it would be to discover true information. And I put a period. I look, uh, I look, instead of I look like, I look at my 
idea. Others, um, others alternative ideas. Then co I combine with them, um, and then I would say I combine with them to reach um, my synthesis idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, my thesis plus antithesis equals synthesis. And antithesis usually means like the opposite. Is that what you want? You find like your your thoughts, and then like an antithesis is more like I'm not sure if it's the right word. Are you thinking of a, a, a scientific word? Uh, or it can be alternative thesis in that situation. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I say antithesis, for example, there is one thing. And yeah. I say it is uh, white, and you say it is uh, black, so we are... Uh, right, that's right, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I mean, my thesis plus alternative thesis equals the synthesis idea. For this reason, I am very open, I'm very open to all things, even if people criticize my weakest point with suitable language. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah. So your philosophy on work is to get it, to go anywhere you need to go to find the solution. <laughs> yes. It, yeah. It, com it comes uh, from my uh, chemistry. Uh, okay. Yeah. Which is and, to uh, yes, make experiments. You also, yes, uh, you also know me. Uh, I try to find solutions. Uh, yeah. On the lessons too, as well. Ah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. So, and how is my writing? Good. Good. I just, you know, kind of the same thing about just a little bit of uh, using different words. I Things that I can understand, but I'm mostly changing them to uh, use words that are more common that we that we use. Even though I, I know what you're meaning to say. You know, like when you said to make uh, good efforts, we say, you know, to, you said to spend but we say to make, to make a good effort. You, you know, you make an effort to do something well. Yeah. But it's just it's just a few things that I'm moving around um, to make it a little bit more clear, you know, using okay. the, the words that we use. What? I see that, uh, I see that uh, when I write uh, more and more, uh, I am improving. Sure. I feel that. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, you wrote all that and it gets quicker and there's less uh, corrections that I that I make, and even you know it's not about uh, being perfect anyways. Because even when you make a mistake, then you learn something new. Because when I correct it, then it's it's learning. So it's always like a progression. You know, you're always improving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, it uh, it improves my uh, thinking uh, English ability. Sure. Right. Yeah. Thinking in English and also. Um, yeah, especially around different topics. So the thing that's good about uh, the writing practice is if you, and always all the other classes as well, is whenever you go outside of your comfort zone. So if you choose to write about something that's new or different than what you usually write about, you usually have to find new words or phrases. And the more you do that, then the more you'll be able to write about a large variety of topics, which is good. Mm -hmm. And uh, how is my uh, word treasure uh, for my writings? I mean, it is weak or normal level? No, it's not weak, no. <laughs> not at all. No, it's good. I mean, it's a solid intermediate level, maybe advanced um, in some areas. You know, I'm not sure, you know, every cr everything has a different criteria, so I'm not sure in terms of like a TOEFL is essay type grading or an IELTS what the actual score would be, but in terms of uh, the language and the subject matter, you know, I can understand what you're saying and uh, you're not having a lot of problems with like verbs or even prepositions, things like that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's more, you, it's yes. more like when you're explain, when you say something. Um, so I think, I think in English it, it might be that sometimes we need to use more words than you do in Turkish, maybe, to explain what we're saying. Yes, maybe, and 
maybe it can be sometimes uh, my parents uh, warn me uh, you have uh, the uh, less uh, word treasure so you cannot explain yourself more mm. they, they criticize me uh, like that 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 it's hard for you to explain yourself because because of being in chemistry or what no i mean oh. uh, i they say to me yeah. you have a, a less a word treasure i mean word uh, capacity for myself so they say to me you cannot explain yourself uh, very well hmm. especially in writing or other uh, situations hmm. but uh, i think in speaking uh, i am my uh, nowadays my the best ability is uh, speaking mm -hmm. yeah it was really good in the role play today mhm mm mhm mm yeah no, I don't. I don't think that you have problems explaining what you're trying to say in writing. It's just sometimes for the English words, maybe you don't know them, or you know some word that's similar, but it, it's not exactly the word that we would use. But that's just a matter of practice and exposure. Yes. Uh, yeah. Sometimes uh, there are some words with uh, close meaning yeah. between English and uh, Turkish. Yeah. For example, if I write uh, Turkish logic, yeah, it can be different uh, many times in English. Yes. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, I, I would like to ask uh, Nihon too. She, I haven't seen her recently, but um, maybe she also has had that experience of trying to figure out what how to say something in English and and the different logic in terms of the Turkish grammar or something. But uh, her uh, the her uh, one talent is uh, she is watching uh, movies uh, mm. more and more, and also yeah. she uh, catches uh, up the true language for English uh, from the movies. Sure. Yeah, she likes to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we miss uh, we miss her. Yeah, I haven't seen her for a week or more. Something. I think uh, she uh, she said to me something, and I can inform you uh, with other areas. Okay. <laughs> All right. I can also talk to her on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna write another one? I read other people's uh, writings. I will listen uh, to them. Okay. Looks like Amparo's almost done. Yes, I don't. You're done? All right, let's hear about the foods that you cannot stand. <laughs> I have a lot of food that I cannot stand. Some of them I've never tried because of their appearance, but others because I tried them and I disliked them. For example, I would never try the kidney, the brain, the other from the cow. Cow. I used to eat the liver, and I thought it was delicious, but I changed my mind after I got it a long time ago. The liver is not in my list of delicious food anymore. <laughs> Cauliflower is a vegetable that I've tried, but I don't like it either. With the coriander, the problem is because I have a kind of allergy or something. Mm -hmm. After eating it, I always have terrible headache and it would become worse vomiting during the whole day. Wow. Okay. I have a lot of foods that I cannot stand. Some of them I've never tried because of their appearance, but others, um, I would say, but others because I've tried them and I dislike them. For example, and put a comma after for example, I would never try, um, would you say I would never try or I have never tried? I would never try. Yeah, yeah. you would never try the kidney, the brain, Oh, and I would say, or the udder from the cow. Um, I used to eat the liver, and I thought it was delicious, but I changed my mind after I got sick a long time ago. Yeah. We would just say, uh, I used to eat liver. Okay. All right, the liver is not <laughs> on, on my list of delicious foods anymore. Cauliflower is a vegetable that I've tried, but I don't like 
it either. With the coriander, uh, comma, the problem is, I would say that. The problem is that I have a kind of allergy. After eating it, I always have a terrible headache, and it could become worse um, with vomiting. And then instead of during all the day, um, you would say vomiting throughout the day. Okay. Wow, that's a pretty serious one. I, I, you yeah. told me about that before, but I can't remember. How did you find that out? Is, is coriander used very much in cooking? Yeah. Yeah, in there? In Ecuador? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if there are some food that they need to the coriander because it's the, the the spice appropriated for that. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I I just when I eat it something that had coriander, I yeah. started with the same symptom and then it, then I said it, it, that is the reason because mm. all the time that it was eating that, that yeah it was terrible, so I stopped I stopped eating. So there's the, there's two different things of the coriander. One is the seed, and then the other one is like the leaves, which is like cilantro. Yeah. So, yeah. The the, the like the leaves. Okay. Mm -hmm. So cilantro is what gives you the problem, the leaves, or both. Yeah. Yeah, and the, the leaves of we call we call a culantro here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's yeah that is the problem, the leaves. I okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Culantro. <laughs> yeah, it says culantro. It's a little bit different. Okay, Cori yeah, Mexican yeah. coriander. Okay. I'm looking it up on Wikipedia <laughs> while you're telling me. <laughs> so so you don't have cilantro, you have culantro. That's yes. right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Coriander. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, food is interesting. You definitely want to eat what makes you feel good. <laughs> and throwing up a food kind of turns you off to it, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> if you get sick or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, we lost Victor. We're waiting for Zaki. You got uh, Hamid. Right, are you going to write some more? Want to try another one? Yes, I am going to try because I lost uh, the connection. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I didn't realize that the battery was uh, about to. <laughs> to oh. Like, oh my God. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering what happened. <laughs> yeah. So I was distracted with uh, my glass of water. <laughs> and then, what? Well, well, oops. It, the, the screen was black. Yeah, oh, no. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I know that's the funny thing about the teaching online is when somebody drops out, you don't have any idea what happened. Like, did they just <laughs> yeah. leave, or did they, something happen no. with the connection? <laughs> I never, I never do, I never do that. Okay. When I have to go for any reason, I, I, I have the, the, the explanation and say that oh, okay. the you think about that it. I have to go. But yeah, <laughs> I, I can drop just you. Yeah, okay. Of, well, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's a mystery. Yeah. Okay. Just, just when it's something weird. Yeah, something strange happens. Hamid, did you work today? Actually, I am uh, in uh, my hometown city because uh, I have some problems. Mm. And I will inform you uh, with uh, some other areas, not okay. verbling. <laughs> okay, sure. Because it is not, not nice if I inform you with this area. Okay. Okay. And I will try to write uh, for a sixth question. Okay, good. <laughs>
ठीक है राइट हैं ओके हाँ पोस्टिंग मारे All right, let's see where's the Okay. Can I read? Yes. Nowadays, people live in a big hurry for the children because you can find better education and hospitals for them. In countryside, you don't get these facilities for them. In the modern world, people want to leave better education to the children. Uh, so people try to leave the countryside places for the future of their children. They want to educate them and try to understand them the latest technologies like cell phones, laptop, etc. So in this way, people want to give all information to the children to help uh, to help in the future. For example, one of my friends living in the countryside, but recently he shifted to my uh, to my city because of the for the education. He told me there was no good universities. And no good lecturer to teach him over there, so he decided to live in a big city and take education from here. Uh, on the other hand, this trend has some disadvantages. So students who comes to a big city for education purposes, they don't know about what is correct or wrong for them. Uh, so there is more possibility to get some bad habit like drugs, cigarette, etc. If they do adopt any of these uh, habit or uh, habit, no one. Is there to stop him? So in this way, they lost their future and and don't concentrate on studies. This, this is very big problem for them who is living in a big city alone. For example, one of my cousin went to America for studies last year. Uh, he did he did not have any he did not have uh, any bad habits that time. But when he returned from America, he was addicted to drugs. He uh, he unable to sleep if he don't get drugs. So we were shocked, in shock to see him. Now we sent to him in a rehabilitation center for his treatment. In conclusion, I agree the children should grow up in a big city. He can find all facilities about education and latest technology. If he knows these things, he can easily get the job and make his future brighter. Okay, good. Okay, so. One thing that I noticed that you keep doing is you're starting your sentences with because, and well, you can do that sometimes. But what I notice is um, what you're—they're usually not sentences on their own. They belong to this part. So nowadays people live in a big city for their children because. So you can keep it as one sentence because okay. you can find better education and hospitals for them. Mm -hmm. I would say better educational opportunities and hospitals for them. In the countryside, you don't get these uh, facilities mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. In the modern world, people want to give, uh, we say, I'm just changing the word order. In the modern world, people want to give their children a better education so people try to leave the uh, their country we could just say the countryside for the future of their children they want to educate them and try to um, help them understand the latest technologies like cell phones laptops um, etc so in this way people want to give um, you can say all the information to their children to help them in the future. All right. So, for instance, one of my friends living in the countryside, one of my friends, I would say, okay, so one of my friends who was living in the countryside, comma, recently, whoops, recently, and we say move. So, he recently moved to my city for um, the education or for educa uh, um, I would say move to my city to have more educational opportunities he told me there were no good universities and no good lecturers to teach him over there so he decided to live in a big city and take 
I would say, and get his education here. On the other hand, this trend has some disadvantages. So students who come to a big city for educational purposes, all right, so then that's just the beginning of the sentence, but you can't end it here. You have to keep going, so you don't want to put a period. Okay. Students who come to a big city for educational purposes don't know about what is correct or wrong for them. So there are more possibilities to um, to get <laughs> some bad habits like drugs, uh, cigarettes, etc. Okay, so I would say pick up. Uh, there are more possibilities to pick up some bad habits like drugs, cigarettes, etc. If they adopt any of these habits, comma, no one is there to stop them. So in this way, comma, they lose their future and don't concentrate on their studies. This is a very big problem for the, uh, for those who uh-huh, those people, so those who are living in a big city alone. Yes. For example, one of my cousins went, one of my cousins went to America to study, we would say, to study last year. He did not have any bad habits at that time. Mm -hmm. But when he returned from America, comma, he was addicted to drugs. He was unable to sleep uh, without drugs, we could say, without, whoops, doo -doo -doo, without drugs. Uh, you could say, we were in shock to see him, and I would say something like, like this. We were in shock to see him like this, you know, that state that he was in. Um, we, now we have sent him to a rehabilitation center for his treatment. In conclusion, I agree that children should grow up in a big city. Um, and I would say they, since we're talking about children, they can find um, all facilities. Um, I would say something like they can find many types of educational opportunities and use the latest technology. If um, if you know. if they if they know these things, comma, they can easily get a job and make uh, the, their future the, brighter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any questions for my corrections? No, I don't have. Okay, Zeki, are you? Uh, going to be taking the TOEFL test anytime soon, or you're just practicing? No, teacher, I'm going to take my IELTS exam. Oh, the IELTS? Okay. When are you doing that? After two months, maybe. About two months? Okay. Good. So we'll keep. Uh, I've been taking these questions from a site that has lots of TOEFL essay examples, but I could also look for some IELTS. They're basically the same type. Yes, yes, it's the same line. Uh, yeah. This type of question will ask in IELTS also. Yes. Have you ever mm -hmm. taken the IELTS before? No, teacher. I, I checked in all, online. Okay. And um, what do you want to do with your score? Like, are you... Are you uh, I need... Uh, yes, I need yeah. six band teacher. For what? Uh, uh, for my MBA. I want to do MBA from UK. Okay. Do you, do you already know the program that you want to do? Yes, finance. Mm -hmm. But I mean, um, at what university? Oh, university, Sunderland University. I know. They require six bands. Okay. Okay. Have you been to England before? No. No. Do you have any family or friends who live there? Yes. My elder brother is living over there. He completed his uh, master's. Uh -huh. uh, in, in from East London University. Uh huh. So that's why I am also trying to go over there to okay. get education. 
Mm -hmm. Zeki, uh, if you want uh, to ask any question for England, I can inform you because I visited uh, it. Oh, thank you. Uh, if I had, I will ask you, Amit. Okay. If I have, I ask you. Okay. Okay. You were also, you were also my little brother uh, for. Uh, <laughs> oh yes, yes. Oh yes. Then uh, whenever <laughs> I will go there, I will uh, call you for the job. <laughs> Okay, it is nice because you are my rich brother. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you are rich. <laughs> my heart is rich. Your heart oh, is yeah. rich. <laughs> your, even if your wallet isn't, your heart is. <laughs> <laughs> My wallet is empty, but my heart is full. Cool. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. Full. That's good. Okay, Hamid, you want to read your next okay. one? Okay. I think I think this picture tells us uh, they are in a chemistry exam. They of course. Teacher, <laughs> their teacher is a professor H. Do you know Professor H? Hydrogen? No. It is Pro Professor Hamid. Hamid. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, nice. And he is a very strict person because uh -huh. he visits every places and people are very excited and nervous during his exams. <laughs> also, his questions are very hard and he gives very low grades for his students. Everybody yells that. We don't want to take exam pro from Professor H, although <laughs> his lessons are both very educational and very fun. It means Professor H is different between his lessons and exams. <laughs> okay. All right. I think this picture tells us uh, that, or I would say it shows us, shows us that they are in a chemistry exam, or you could say that they are taking they are taking a chemistry exam. Their teacher is Professor H, and he is a, a very strict person because he visits, um, uh, what do you mean every place? I mean uh, in the classroom, uh, they, he visits. He walks uh, around? He yes. Okay, yeah. So because he walks around, uh, walks around the room, and people are very in, excited and nervous during his exams. Also, his questions are very hard, and he gives very low grades for his students. <laughs> uh, to his students, everybody yells that. All right, I would put a period there. Everybody yells that. Uh, yells, comma. We don't want to take an exam from Professor H. <laughs> and I'd put an exclamation mark there. Um, Although his lessons are both very educational and very funny, it means Professor H is different between his lessons and exam, the exams. All right. <laughs> Brahmit, did you ever? Do you want to be a professor someday? I hope so, but uh, it is not my way uh, for this uh, thing. It, I wrote only for fun. Yeah. If okay. I, uh, I am a professor. Uh -huh. I can be different because I like uh, to teach people uh, with fun uh, methods. Uh -huh. And I also tried uh, this method uh, for one verbling community group and yeah. everybody was glad for that. <laughs> what did you do? I asked uh, to them uh, one question. It's yeah. a basic question but uh, it is one important detail for that. Uh, and uh, I also explained uh, some things. And uh, I uh, just uh, waited uh, some feedbacks uh, for myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also said, please uh, say uh, to me truth, mm -hmm. not exaggerating details or like that. Yeah. And, uh, er uh, everybody said to me, we were glad you're uh, telling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. Yes. Was it a, was it about chemistry? Yes. Oh, okay. But yeah, it is basic chemistry, not a very uh, complex chemistry. Sure. Yeah. Today you laugh very well. You laugh so much. <laughs> yeah. You 
you can understand uh, from my profile picture, uh, Zeki. <laughs> Uh, yeah. My biggest, my biggest Hamid. love is chemistry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love chemistry. Yes, I. Zeki, what, what did you study? I, I, I did my graduation in finance. In finance. Yes. And what do you want to do with an MBA? In finance field. I yeah, want to do in MBA finance. Yeah, but what, what kind of job do you want to do? What industry do you want okay, to work in? Okay, okay. In the corporate sector. Like like uh, as a accountant or uh, like uh, to deal with uh, clients uh, yeah. for uh, for taxation in the uh, at the uh, end of the year uh, to make file for the to show the uh, tax uh, taxes for the to show the taxes for the government how you spend it do you pay uh, mm -hmm. do you pay taxes for your company or not. Yeah, I, I want to work for this. And to, uh, 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 if uh, I want to make file for the company, uh, oh, like make tax filings. Yes, tax filing. Oh, I see. Okay, so like being an accountant or something. Yes, accountant. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's a. Uh, so, would you work in in India or where would you work? No, I n never work. I don't have an experience right now. I just completed my graduation this year. Uh -huh. Now I am planning to go abroad. After that, uh, completing my MBA, uh, I want. I would like to do job like uh, in Gulf countries. Oh, okay, like, where, where the money is. <laughs> yes, yes, yes you're right. <laughs> if I got the job in the UK, I will do it over there also. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> if I don't get, I will move to uh, Gulf country like Saudi or Dubai. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> wherever I wherever I get uh, good money, fair money, yeah, according yeah. to me, <laughs> I, I will go there. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. Is that um? Do you know anybody who lives in a Gulf country? Yes, yes, my my uh, cousin. Uh, uh, two cousins are living over there in oh. Gulf countries. Do they like it? Yes. Mm -hmm. We are we are brothers. Yeah. We but do close. do do they like working over there? Yes, yes, they like. Oh, uh, we are working in Saudi Arabia. Oh, okay. As yeah. a engineer. Uh huh. Huh. Yeah. Good. Okay, Amparo, are you ready? There were. There's not going to be any more children left in the countryside. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are right. You are all <laughs> the education is. Oh, what has, has some internet issues. Uh, she dropped out. Oh, okay. I'm put all corrected then. Uh, so you'll probably be able to see it. Uh, I agree that children should grow up in a big city. A big city offers them a lot of great possibilities in different areas like health, education, access to technology, etc. One of the advantages of living in a big city is that you are close to big hospitals that can help you in case you are sick, but also they have plans to prevent some illnesses. In many cases, in the countryside, uh, you can just find a doctor for the entire town. I would say you can, you can just find one doctor for the entire town, and he or she doesn't have all the medical instruments that can save a life. Um, another advantage of living in the big city is that you have a variety of options when you have to decide on what university or yeah on oh, let's see when you have to decide what university uh, you will attend I would say in the countryside you are limited in that sense because they don't offer all the careers and that is going to be a problem when you want to find a job. I would say all the possible um, majors or uh, career trainings maybe. Uh, finally, in the big city you can find the most advanced technologies um, and that it oh wait, and that is very necessary nowadays in every field of our lives. 
Uh, these are some reasons why I think that it is much better to grow up in a big city. Okay, Amparil, you came back. <laughs> yeah. Good. I just made a couple of uh, minor corrections. Did did you see them at all, or just a couple little things? Hmm. I don't remember where they are. <laughs> <laughs> they grew up in a big city. Big city. Uh, let's see. Where did you? Yeah, I, I like I put one doctor. That I, that was a simple change. Uh, I think I put is that right here in the big city is that you have a variety of options and this one I, this is a kind of a weird one because when you decide you can use decide on and where which university you know where you want to stay so it's a little bit funky with the English there's different ways that uh, don't sound right you know so I, I just changed it so when you have to decide what university you will attend yeah yeah uh-huh and in the countryside, you're limited um, in that sense, yeah, because they don't. And I changed this here. Instead of the careers, I changed it to, we call them majors. Yeah, the possible majors or uh, career trainings, you know, mm -hmm. if, if a college or a university has specific vocational training. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Okay. I was just joking that we're not going to have any uh, kids in the countryside anymore because they're, Everybody thinks it's better to live in a big city. <laughs> we'll have to leave the countryside for the animals and the food. <laughs> yeah, and who is going to care of them? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and a few people to take care of them. <laughs> uh, all, all of us are going to have a, a garden. Them. Everybody so can have a garden, yeah. yeah. What did you uh, say, Jackie? After retirement, they want to live in the countryside. Yeah, okay, the retired <laughs> folks can go live in the peaceful countryside, yes. That's yeah. The countryside is going to be witty, dry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, thanks for coming to class. I have another one in an, an hour, but, but you guys will probably be asleep, or Ampara, I don't know what you're doing later, but maybe I'll see you. <laughs> maybe. Okay, take care, guys. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye, guys. Take care. Bye, guys. Native uh, languages, Russian. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Well, welcome. And um, I'm going to put it up in the screen share. So if some people drop by and see what we're doing, they can decide if they want to join us. Um, I'll go over the questions also. Num I've been leaving number one the same. So it's always about uh, writing about a movie that you've watched recently. So that's always fun to do, and it's a good practice of retelling a story. Um, number two is, are there any foods that you absolutely can't stand? So that means you hate them, <laughs> and you won't eat them. And what are they, and have you always not liked them? So some people have that you know, like with certain things, like fish maybe, or certain vegetables, or something like that. It's kind of fun to know that kind of stuff about people. Um, number three is, if you could go on a cruise to anywhere, where would you go and why? Why would you like to go there? Yesterday, some people described their philosophy on money. Now, today, you have a chance to describe your philosophy on work. What kind of, what do you think about work? How much should you work? You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, number five is describe what is happening in this picture or write a story that goes along with it. <laughs> so this is a funny guy in a funny costume skiing down the hill. So somebody could create a story around that. Um, here's another uh, photo. So you see a woman there doing something in some kind of building with a painting in the background. So you can either make a story up about that or you can just describe what you see and what is happening in that picture. Number seven is the free write where you can write anything you want. And the TOEFL essay is um, it is better for children to grow up in the countryside than in a big city. Do you agree? So that's a statement. So a statement is just like somebody says it, like it's a fact. But it's really an opinion, somebody's opinion. And then you have to say whether or not you agree or you disagree. And you need to use specific reasons and examples um, to develop your Hi everybody, welcome back to another hour of English classes here on Verbling.com. 
I've been doing quite a few writing classes this week because people have been wanting to practice their writing. So if you have a reservation for this class, uh, you can use that now. This hour is going to be a writing practice class. It's available for anybody, um, whatever your level is. If you are a beginner and you want to just practice writing some simple sentences, you can do that. If you're intermediate or advanced, you can join to practice uh, writing perhaps a TOEFL essay question or any of the other questions that I have. Whoops, I forgot to close my verbling window. There we go. So, hi there, Zaki. Welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. Zaki, here's the uh, link for you in the group chat. Hi, good. And you can go there and look, and we will see if some other people show up for this hour um, essay. So for this one, for the people who want to work on this, it's important to pick pick a side. <laughs> so you either agree and you want to give reasons why you think it is better for children to grow up in the countryside. So maybe there's cleaner air. There's more freedom to move around. Maybe there's um, it's um, you get to know your friends uh, and other people in your town. Maybe you can have animals. Um, you know, there's lots of reasons. Maybe you could come up with, or you can say I disagree, and then you would have to give the reasons why you disagree. You could say, you know, in the countryside. Uh, we've done this one before, so some people have said like in the countryside there aren't that many opportunities. So it's better to be in a big city because you have more opportunities for learning things. You have more opportunities for healthcare services. Um, it's it's fun to go out and go to you know places, take classes, go to uh, shows, entertainment stuff like that. So you just have to agree or disagree. Like I said, uh, you can come in at any level, um, beginner, intermediate, or advanced level. Everybody gets to do. Uh, writing at their own level so it's really um, kind of a nice way to just take some time for yourself and practice writing and then what happens is after you finish your writing then I have you read it out loud so then you can hear it and maybe sometimes when you're reading it you hear something that's not quite right and you can either correct it or I correct it and then I will make uh, corrections and you can ask me questions and um, anything that you're working on we can discuss that. So hi Victor. Victor I put the link to the Google document in the group chat so you can go over there and um, I think you guys yes? Hi. Good. Hi. <laughs> I'm doing well. Thank you. Victor, you're um, in in Russia, is that right, or Ukraine? Yes. Okay, Russia. Uh, okay. I'm from Ukraine, but and uh, my 